Imagine for a moment that you're in a cycle race. You're doing your best, riding flat out, when out of the blue, an old dude sails past you with his long beard flowing in the breeze. That's exactly what happened to riders in the 1951 race of the Severa Gilipet, a 1,764 km bicycle tour that runs the length of Sweden. A man by the name of Gustav Hakensen had signed up for the race, but officials said that he couldn't participate as he was too old. The cutoff was 40 years old, but at the time, Hakensen was 65 years old. Not letting this deter him though, he saddled up on race day and leaving shortly after the rest of the pack at the starting line, he took off with a big number zero emblazoned on his chest. The tour was run in stages, and while the contestants slept, Huckinson continued peddling, sometimes going up to three days without sleeping. During the contest, newspapers picked up on a nickname that had followed him since the late 1940s. That nickname was Steel Grandpa. With his long flowing beard and his seemingly endless amounts of energy, he caught the public's imagination. Many newspapers covered his story and he became famous as the nation followed his journey through the country. After 6 days, 14 hours and 20 minutes, Steel Grandpa arrived in Eastard, a full 24 hours before the rest of the contestants, proving well and truly that he wasn't too old for the race. There was a parade with a marching band, fire brigades and Steel Grandpa was put on the shoulders of younger men in celebration. The next day, he even had an audience with King Gustav VI, Adolf of Sweden. But that's not the end of the story. Still, Grandpa went on to appear in advertisements. He travelled the country singing his religious songs, and he released a music album. And in 1959, in his mid-70s, he rode his bike to Jerusalem and visited a number of holy sites. He was still riding his bike even after he reached the age of 100. Still Grandpa lived until the age of 102 after living a life of health, adventure and vitality. He also left us a good example of how you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, or in this case, a cyclist by his beard. (laughs) 